How you doing everybody? My name is Max Bopre. I'm a trail builder here at Ride Canuga and we're riding our black jump trail today, Hemlock. So we recently did a rework on it, built some sick berms, some sick new jumps and uh, pretty excited for you guys to check out what we got going on here. That was... <laughs> Sheesh! So this is our SX section, Supercross section on Hemlock. It's about halfway through the track. And uh, as you can see, we got a configuration of rollers, small to medium to large. And then on the forefront, we got a nice triple or double in, depends on how you feeling. If you want a little bit of boost, you go for the triple. You want a little bit of chill, you go for the double. It's all about the options, right? One of our good friends, Richie Rude, a Yeti Red Bull rider. Super cool dude, faster than anybody else, pretty much. He likes to uh, single this one, then double from this second knuckle all the way out to that next roller down there. Absolute insanity. But um, normally when I come through here, I just gap these two rollers and then the next set into the berm. It's pretty chill. It's just trail pace, easy pulls, nothing crazy, no steep lips, whatnot. Pretty straightforward. I think it's uh, quite a lot of fun. This is about three quarters of the way down that walk, right before the road crossing road gap. New feature here. And um, yeah, so this is just a little double rock lip step down action into some sweet left hand burmage. So uh, this one, it's got a little bit of a, some holes in the middle here. So you gotta really anticipate your uh, speed coming off here and your trajectory going into there. Cause if you don't absorb, those uh, compressions right there. You'll go right over the bars and you'll land on your skull about 20 feet down yonder. So that's not good. But over here, we got the little junior rock. It's very smooth, no odd inconsistencies, bleh, inconsistencies in the transition. It's very flat and um, a lot more predictable. So if you're feeling sandy, you come over yonder to uh, old Gnarly Town. And if you're just feeling chill, just like up in the SX section, you hit little junior boy over here and you're well on your way. Whoa! Okay, so here we have the road gap goes across to the bottom half of the hemlock. It's pretty, really straightforward. Uh, just trail speed from this nice corner up here, right across the flat bottom off the lip. Literally next to impossible to case, just trail speed. Even if you're going a little slow, nice little hop right over. Landing's cambered in, so it'll carry you right around that corner into a sick drop. It's one of the tastiest berms you've ever seen in your life.
once again, everybody. So we are at the second to last feature on Hemlock. Once again, we got a double, we got some options over here. We got, th these are two piles of rocks that we uh, put some dirt over, slap them in nice and glassy-like, then uh, make two little sick ramps. So on the right side, we got a uh, banger Magoo. She's got some pep in the step, tell you that. Tell you how much. I mean, just look at her, you know. It, it, it's enough, it's enough in itself. I don't even have to say anything. Anyways, so off the right, it's a little bit steeper than the left one, just to give you a little bit more rise to get down there if you want a, bit, a little bit more send. Then the inside, just a lot more straight. Just a nice little gap over this little trench, drain trench right there into the soft landing. Then you got a sick roller into a left. But um, this one you have to hit with a little bit more speed, just naturally, because it's a little bit farther set back than the other one. So if you're feeling sandy, you hit the right one. And then if you're feeling pretty chill, you hit the left one a little bit backwards from the theme up there, but you just gotta keep your eyes peeled and stay active with your decisions while you're riding. 